Gun Leshy presents Squirrel Hunting. First shots with the Leshy 2 Reaper. All right, I got a couple things to show you guys in this video, so buckle up. For my fellow Leshy 2 guys and gals, or ones on the fence, we have found a slug that works in this platform finally. So the white tracers that you're going to see uh, in this video are predominantly 60 grain, 762 millimeter. I think there's some 25 cal stuff in here too. But, uh, and they're from a company called Airgun Velocity Sport. But more on that here in just a second. The other is to introduce you to the Leshy 2 Reaper and give you a little look under the hood. Let's start with that because my new Dirty 30, this thing is unreal. Hey guys. Let me introduce you to my new Dirty 30. This is the Egg Gun Leshy 2 Reaper in the Hornet configuration. Although I do have an extra Mod 50 stack on and this custom grip from uh, Egg Gun West. But that's probably not what you're interested in. <laughs> Let's talk about what this Reaper is. So the Reaper is a transverse or perpendicular micro reg that's only actually a few millimeters tall. It's tiny. Uh, it uses a cup that is screwed into the plenum sideways. So it's a mini Belleville washer stack uh, used alongside of a single piston O-ring. So placed between the air reservoir and the plenum is also a, a debris plug that prevents contaminants, dirt, whatever, uh, from, enter, from actually entering the reg, uh, which is actually super cool. So the Reaper is actually capable of regulating the plenum pressure between 60 and now 280 bar. So this black disc that you're seeing here, uh, is used to either increase or decrease the pressure in the plenum externally. So with the Reaper, you can actually go up or down in reg pressure um, without degassing the gun. So it could be fully charged. So no need to degas it um, to tune it. This saves an enormous amount of time. Uh, additionally, uh, the Reaper is equipped with a removable plug. It's a 1 8 uh, BSPP thread. So this is used, it's just on the other side here. This is used to check the plenum's pressure if desired. So you can just uh, thread in a, um, just a uh, normal, uh, what do you call it, gauge, sorry. So uh, the key to this system though, is not the volume of plenum, uh, nor the fact that the pressure can go so high, but the secret sauce is the combination of the patented valve uh, and this high pressure regulator, the Reaper. So no need to waste money on those power plenums and snake oil crap that you're seeing for the Lashy 2. It makes me mental. But literally, please, for the love of God, do not buy that stuff. It doesn't work. So leave those upgrades for traditional valve systems, plenum size, all that stuff makes sense, not for the Lashy 2. I don't know how else to make that more clear. Do not buy that stuff. So the new Reaper comes complete with everything that you need straight from Egg Gun, right out of the box. So uh, Ed has this tradition of selling guns that just don't need aftermarket gizmos to ensure performance. Uh, the new Reaper uh, is ready directly from Egg Gun without having to pay for any of that extra stuff. The best part, I actually built this one while looking at quite a few boxes of ones that are in stock. So Brian has these now. So the pre-order system is no longer needed. You can literally go there and go snag one. So, all right, let's get back to what you normally see on this channel. And from here on out, I'll be using the Egg Unless You 2 Reaper.
This first one here is actually my 25 cal. So I've only tested the 32 grain 254 for now, uh, but it is lights out. Here's a 60 grain slug rolling about 50 foot pounds. So I was surprised how slow I could actually run them at 615 feet per second for some backyard action. But I did run them as fast as 850 and you can take them quicker too if you want. Here's another in 25 cal. So I'll throw a link in the description to the ones I've tested so far. I've done, uh, I've just got 22, so I haven't run them yet, but I've heard they're great. Uh, I've done 25 and obviously 30. There are other slugs that shoot okay that I've seen guys talk about, uh, but they all fall straight through the mag, so it's kind of pointless to me. So these all fit snug and they cycle perfectly. I'm really going to slow this one down so you can see how well these slugs fly. So yes, I realize it's only 30 yards, but seeing it fly this true will be a pretty good indication of what you can expect as you open it up. So I figured though the haters would be blowing me up in the comments with the yeah buts. So let's travel back a couple weeks where I flew down to California to meet the Reaper uh, and give these slugs their maiden voyage with Brian from Ed Gun West. So he's a U.S. importer and dealer. And speaking of which, this is the only place in my opinion you should get one of these from if you live in the U.S., uh, the Leshy 2 is unlike any PCP airgun platform out there. It carries a U.S. patent for crying out loud. That's how different this is. So having a person uh, like Brian dedicated only to airgun and at this point just the Leshy 2 uh, is a huge value when you're dropping thousands of dollars. And let's be honest, it's a BB gun. So I like to pick up a phone, call a guy who knows what he's talking about, speaks my actual language. Uh, so I'm not chasing my tail on forums trying to set up one of these things in a certain way or God forbid some you know troubleshoot a problem that arises. So with all that said, let's dive in. So this AVS slug in a 254, 32 grain absolutely fits perfectly. I'll show you in a little video that it doesn't fall out of the magazine. Uh, these are the cup based ones. I don't know how big they are or actually don't know anything about the company. I just bought them over the internet. Uh, so the guy has no idea that I was going to even review him or shoot him. And uh, so <laughs> I got him too. <laughs> yeah, he's going to know he's, now. He's about to find out. Yeah. If so they shoot well today, he's going to find they, out. <laughs> yeah, he might get a lot of orders. So they fit in the magazine. They cycle flawlessly. I'll show you a video of it cycling flawlessly. Uh, and uh, they work great. So I have high hopes for them. I think they're going to work. So can the Leshy 2 shoot slugs? Yeah, short answer is yes, and you're seeing it right there. But let's watch and see for ourselves. My mic got screwed up while I was filming this, so uh, let me tell you what you're looking at. Uh, we're first shooting 50 yards with the 32 grain 254 cut base AVS slugs out of the 25 cal Leshy 2 with a 350 millimeter barrel. So the Leshy 2 is a true truck gun. It's durable, fits in a backpack, etc., etc. All the attributes of a truck gun. Uh, so we're going to shoot it, though, like a person who actually owns a truck gun would shoot off a hot hood in the desert using just a normal range bag as a rest, not locked into some vice or a bench. These are real life conditions, real life results. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> All right, let's walk down. Hold on. I'm going to keep this roll. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> a truck gun fits in a backpack and shoots slugs? No excuses, I guess, now. What is this, a... Uh... You know what I got in my hand? Uh, yeah. I <sighs> gonna work? I think that will work. 
Here's a uh, three shot group at 100 yards. So with literally our last three two five fours that we had. So more to come with these and testing at all calibers as well. And I'll be pushing things out uh, f way further than you typically see in my yard. So with that said, however, let's go back to 30 yards and smash some critters that took over my yard while I was out of town. I was super surprised I was able to actually shoot these slugs relatively slow. So this is 50 foot pounds, which is 60 grainer going 615 feet per second. So there is no stopping these, however, as you just saw. Uh, I have no answer to this either, but I also found that they're quieter than pellets, which is weird. Um, but I'm not a big slug guy, so maybe you guys tell me. So 50 foot pounds is a lot for an urban backyard. And my neighbors had no clue what was going on. They don't care, but they still had no clue. So whatever, side bonus. You can see how devastating the energy dump was on that one. Uh, these are all straight pastures, though. So I even blew one straight through the skull of a raccoon the other night. I'll save that video for an upcoming episode. Though. So I was swapping between the 55 grain and the 60 grain slugs, and I forgot to change the profile on this one on the ATN. But 50 foot bounds is pretty forgiving. This one dropped like a stone. In this video with this one, and this one went straight through it uh, and demolished the table for one backstop behind it. So time for a little refresh in that regard, which if you were paying attention, you got a little sneak peek. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started.